Hi everyone, welcome to Selenium Minutes, where I will endeavor to show you in quick short videos how to use Selenium. Today I will start with the easiest and probably the funnest part of using Selenium, and that is creating your first Selenium ID test. Let's get started. There are actually three things you need in order to start using Selenium IDE. First is Firefox. You can download Firefox from here if you don't already use it. Um, this is the URL. It is www.mozilla.org slash en for English dash us slash. And when you go to this URL, you can just hit the big green button and the download will start. Once you are done with downloading Firefox, just go ahead and pop it open and head over to the Selenium Downloads URL. The exact URL is seleniumhq.org slash download. Now, once you get to Selenium HQ and you get to the Downloads tab, locate the link next to where it says Download Latest Released Version. At this particular time during the filming of this short video, the version is 1.10.0 and that's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and start installing you just click the link make sure you allow firefox to install the process is very quick as you can see after that you simply accept all of the installations what's going to be installed is selenium id over here along with all the other formatters for Selenium ID, which you will need if you ever want to move on from Selenium ID to WebDriver or to uh, running your tests on remote control Selenium. After this, you say install now. Your Firefox will ask you to restart. This only takes a second. And once it restarts, you are ready to start using Selenium. Now, this was the second part. The third part that you need is the actual application that you're going to be testing. For this video, we're going to be using the Orange HRM demo website to record a short test. For this demo, we will be using Orange HRM, located at demo.orangehrmlive.com slash symphony with an F slash web slash index.php slash auth slash login and we will record the most basic but also the most common test case you will probably run into as a QA. This will be the positive valid login test case. It consists of logging into a web portal using valid user credentials making sure that the login occurred by verifying the page title, making sure that the user we used to log in is also displayed in the welcome message at the top of the screen, and then simply logging out. Let's get started. Before we begin, we must open Selenium IDE. This can be done in three different ways. The first is through the Tools menu of Firefox, here it is. The second is through the keyboard shortcut, which is Control alt s And the third is through the Selenium ID icon, which will be installed automatically during Selenium ID installation. Regardless of which method you prefer, go ahead and start your Selenium ID now. By default, Selenium ID starts already in recording mode. You can tell this because there is a square around the red circle record button. When the recorder is off, there will be no square around the record button. Make sure you turn on the recorder before you begin interacting with your application under test. As an additional tip, before you begin, delete the username and password already pre-filled into the credential fields. Unfortunately, if we allow Firefox to pre-fill our credentials for us, Selenium ID will not pick up those interactions because they were not performed by the user, but rather by Firefox itself. 
So it is a good idea not to store login and passwords when you are planning to use Selenium ID to record logging in. All right, now that we have cleared these fields, let's begin. Make sure the record button is on. Switch over to your application under test. Type in the credentials. The credentials can actually be viewed here. The username is admin with a capital A. And the password is admin with a lowercase a. Click login. As you can see, my interactions are being easily picked up by Selenium IDE. Once you have logged in, you can check that you have been able to successfully log in by verifying the title of this new page. Selenium actually has an option to do this automatically, and you can actually see it by looking at the script it has recorded. It has automatically asserted the title of this page. If your Selenium ID does not have this option configured, you can manually add an assertion for the page title by right-clicking using your mouse and selecting Assert Title from the context menu. As you can see, I've done now. Next, we will also want to check that the correct username is displayed in the welcome message. Since we logged in as admin, we expect to also see admin as part of the welcome message. To check that admin is displayed in the welcome message, we will highlight the entire text of the welcome message, right click, and select assert text. If assert text is not available through your context menu, you can look for it in the additional set of commands by going to the bottom of the context menu and selecting show all available commands. And then you will see a much larger list of commands. After you have verified that the correct user is displayed in the welcome message, you can now log out. Again, you can see on the left that Selenium ID has automatically added an assertion for the page title. Now, all we have to do is remember to stop recording. And we have recorded our first test. But we're not done yet. Before we can call this done, we need to verify that this script works. And to do this, we need to debug. To play the script back, all we have to do is press the play button located at the top left of the Selenium IDE. If you want to follow along as Selenium IDE executes the script, you can switch to slow mode. However, if you have already finished debugging, you should always finish off by playing the script in fast mode to make sure that any kind of weight that are required have been inserted into the script. Let's play the script back. If everything in the script turned green, that means the script passed. Congratulations! You have recorded your first valid Selenium IDE test case.